Kathleen and Finley published author. Welcome to my channel. Ignore my desk. Obviously I do. <laughs> Today we're going to talk about horror with heart. One of my favorite things I like to say about writing horror is that a lot of it has to do with human emotions and feelings and thoughts. And one of those human emotions and feelings and thoughts is a romance or love. And this is not paranormal romance recommendations. I'm sure there's a lot of paranormal romance recommendations out on YouTube right now. These are, well, some of them are, I guess. <laughs> but these are some books that, uh, for Valentine's Day, if you want to read Getting Up to Valentine's Day, that um, celebrate <laughs> horror with heart that have a lot of heartfelt elements in with the scares, let's say. For example, this one is Anna Dressed in Blood by Kendar Blake. This is one of my absolute favorite books of Kendar Blake. This is, is that title not amazing too? This is about a girl named Anna. Oh, and the font, the, the words are in red. <laughs> but it's about a, a ghost named Anna. And, um, you know, this the tagline is just your average boy meets girl, girl kills people story. Yeah, horror with heart, definitely. If you've not read Anna Dressed in Blood, pick it up. It's really good. It's a young adult horror story. This one is Willow Marsh by Joe Cassidy. This is about Tessa, and she yearns for closure with her mother and her brother after they are killed in a tragic accident. And uh, everyone in Willow Marsh is where she lives, and they're in line with anxiety of renegade spirits. The powerful voice inside her head and guilt of her mother and brother's death start to consume her, breaking her down piece by piece. This is horror with heart doesn't just have to mean romance. It can be any type of feelings that you can get. Um, any type of feelings that, well, there's different, you understand what I mean. This one has, it has redemption, it has forgiving yourself, it has romance, it has a beautiful cover, it has all the things, so that's what the heart is in this one. <laughs> this is a non-fiction book. This is Will My Cat Eat My Eyeballs by Caitlin Doty, Doty. I say her name wrong all the time. I love her channel. She's on YouTube. It's Ask a Mortician or Ask the Mortician. And this one is on here because it is where my, it, it's on my horror with heart, heart list because this is, it's people, it's children who's asked questions about death and she answers those questions. And it's so sweet in a really morbid way. And <laughs> Caitlin has a lot of heart when it comes to answering questions, and I got a lot out of this, even as a, a grown lady. So, yeah, this one is the only nonfiction book on this list, but it's really good. So, pick it up. Next is And the Trees Crept In by Dawn Kurtajic. This one is about um, two girls. And they go to live with their aunt in the woods. And their aunt goes upstairs and doesn't come back down. And there's a boy that comes to help take care of them. And that's basically all you need to know about this story. Because if you know any more, then you will be spoiled. And that will not be good. So, yeah. This one has a whole lot of heart to it. Really. Um, it pulled on my heartstrings a lot, and it, it, if you know Dawn's books, she, they can get out there in the best of ways, so that's what this one definitely did. <laughs> so, yeah, if you've never read one of her books, you need to. Next on my list of horror with heart is The Girl, The Hanging Tree by Mary Gray. I have talked about this book many times, many times. Um, this one is about a... Well, I'll just read the, the little synopsis here. Gemma Louise Coldron has two personalities. One is herself and one is not herself. It's Tansy. And there is a mystery 
of why one of the personalities won't let Gamma find out something that happened. There is a huge... There, there's a huge twist <laughs> at the end. And it's one my I, I couldn't put it down. And my heart hurt so bad after reading this book. So, yeah. Next, because I have to, <laughs> The House That Fear Built by Kelly Martin. Now, this book is going to get a new cover soon. We're working on it. Might get a new title. Not sure about the title, but definitely, definitely going to get a new cover. This was me trying to make a cover, and I like it, but I don't think I did a great job. So, it's getting a new cover. Uh, might get a new title. Don't know. But the story inside is what we're talking about. It's the thing with heart. This is about a girl named Mina, and she has a boyfriend, but it doesn't work very well. He's very mean. And he doesn't seem to like her very much. And they go, uh, he doesn't, but her and her best friend and her best friend's boyfriend and her best friend's boyfriend's friends all go to the town haunted house at Hillard House. And her friend dies. Her friend's boyfriend is accused of the murder. And things happen. You have to figure out what really happens. The thing, this is probably the most heart <laughs> in this whole list because the there's a poltergeist inside of Hiller House and she possesses people who love each other to kill the other person. Like, say me and my husband went into Hiller House, she would possess one of us to kill the other person because she's just bored and does that. So, when Mina and Adam, who is the boyfriend's friend, goes back into Hillard house, she thinks she's fine because obviously nobody loves her. She's um, 16, 16, yeah, she's 16, and she's, she doesn't, she's a, she's plus size, she's very shy, she doesn't think that anybody would love her. She doesn't see why anybody would love her, and they go into it. So she has no qualms of going to this house of Adam, and then Adam gets possessed. Dun, dun, dun. So it deals with her having to deal with the death of her best friend, with dealing with this abusive boyfriend, with coming to terms that she is lovable and she needs to accept that she's lovable and that people can love her um so yeah all that in this scary little book the house of fear built by kelly martin <laughs> this is the most romancy one on this list and i wasn't going to put it on there but i haven't talked about this series in a while and i think i need to because it's one of my favorite Nora Roberts series. It's the Sign of Seven series. It is Blood Brothers, Ooh. Blood Brothers, The Hollow, and The Pagan Stone. So, you know, Nora Roberts is going to have the romance. It's, there's romance in here, definitely. Definitely the romance. But it, I know most people wouldn't call this horror, but this is the most horror horror that Nora Roberts could horror. Um, it's about, it's got, it, it has everything. It has rituals, it has sacrifices, it has blood bonds, it has a girl in a, um, a pond that's not alive. <laughs> it has romance. I love the series. I need to reread it. It's one of my absolute favorite Nora Roberts series. I think I will reread it. You know, I'm home for a while. I can't go back to work till March because of my surgery. So, I may reread these again. Who knows? Okay, the last book. <laughs> this is I Believe in You by Ellis Barks, illustrated.
by George Bletis. Is that not the cutest thing you've ever seen in your life? This is about the Loch Ness Monster and the Loch Ness Monster's baby. And even in the world of skeptics, a parent's belief is unbreakable. Y'all, there is a whole monster um, cryptid book series. And I got this one. This is for my school babies when I go back to work. But uh, it's about how even if nobody else believes in you, because, you know, Loch Ness Monster, that I believe in you. If that's not horror with heart, I don't know what is. I just wanted to end on this note. This is from Hazy Dale Press. And y'all, it's adorable. It's adorable. <laughs> Alright guys, those are my books. That's my list for horror with a heart for you to read this week leading up to Valentine's Day. I hope you have a fantastic Valentine's Day on Monday. I will see you with a video on Monday, but it is about um, um, indie books versus traditional books and things like that. So it's a little different. I'm wearing the same clothes because I filmed it right before I filmed this one. But you know, I actually had decent lighting. Even so I had decent lighting, I just need to clean this off and you know, life will be good. <laughs> Please subscribe <laughs> if you want to see more videos, more lists, more writing things, more anything, uh, hit the notification bell so you'll know when I upload new videos. It's Right now, it's every Monday. Hopefully, it will continue to be every Monday. And I will see 